talked about doing this for many years because I have lived long enough to know that if you are not a part of getting your history out there, you may be written out of history. Were you there when history was made August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th, 2013 in Los Angeles, California? One of the most exciting weekends for me. Over 100 former Ebony Fashion Fair models gathered for the first time to share memories, reconnect with old friends, and reflect on the way we contributed to the expansion of the definitions of beauty, grace, and confidence. For three days, we laughed, danced, sang, ate, honored our legends, and recognized our place in history. You were not the first person that wanted to put together an Ebony Fashion Fair reunion. What kept you going when I think others just gave up? Absolute passion. The passion for the relationships that were created on the road, on the bus, in the room, backstage, on the runway. We became family. We loved, we sang, we celebrated. Whatever we did, we did it together. And I don't know about any other model or alumni, but it absolutely changed my life. We sat around about three years ago, I remember talking with Faye, and I was like, you're just talking, you know? And now it's happening. It's, it's just amazing to get everybody from all over the world, you know, out of their busy jobs and schedule, yeah, right. knowing that it might not happen again. One of the things that this weekend means to me is happening right now. It's the idea of having an opportunity to meet and get to know those that, even, that came before me. Um, and the idea of coming together with everyone who's created 50 years of history of the Ebony Fashion Fair. My name is Judy Pace. I participated in one of the most magnificent presentations that the United States has ever seen. It was called the Ebony Fashion Fair. It was a beauty revolution and I participated for two years, 1962 and 1963. I'm Gretchen Shepard McAlpin, 1975, 76, and 77. My name is Antoinette Moran, and I'm from the 06, 09 year. My name is Terry Springer Walker, and I modeled from 1959 to 1964. My name is Destiny Sykes, and I was the 51st year, 2008, 2009. I loved it. I enjoyed it. I miss it. I'm just happy that we're all getting together to do it again. Probably the most outstanding memory at that time was that uh, there was a gentleman uh, that I knew in San Francisco where I lived at the time who became the press secretary for President Kennedy. And President Kennedy came down the steps and he said, who are these beautiful women? And Mrs. DeKnight walked right up to him and said, this is the Ebony Fashion Fair. And President Kennedy said, Oh, I know the Ebony Fashion Fair because my wife was instrumental in bringing them to Boston. I was the Ebony Fashion Fair commentator from 1970 to 1977. Well, I always wanted to do the show as a model, but I was too tall. I was six feet. And then finally, I got to know somebody, and in 1970, I got the opportunity not to model, but to be the commentator. When I tell you it was the greatest, not a job, no. the greatest position any young woman could have possibly had. I was 33 years old and I took on this job and it was heaven. I'm Shayla Simpson. I was with the Ebony Fashion Fair from 1975 to 1991. For, the, for two years, 1975 to 76, I was uh, a model under Audrey Smoltz. She was my commentator. Uh, and the assistant commentator. And I was, I was assistant commentator, assistant commentator. And in 1977, when Audrey retired and, and started her business, uh, I became the Ebony Fashion Fair commentator and commentated for 14 more years.
It's such a pleasure just to be. <laughs> As a model, I was the first model to wear a thong on the runway. Truly, it was the first original reality TV show, just nobody was filming. Exactly. So, <laughs> exactly. It really was, because everything that happened on that bus, nah, <laughs> these reality shows ain't got nothing on us, so oh, <laughs> trust me.